This video is going to cover some definitions that you need to know and understand for the polynomials unit. And you'll actually be using these definitions throughout the remainder of the class. So let's go over these together. So the first thing you need to do is write your essential question. What are some definitions I need to know? The first definition is the word variable. You've seen that word used a lot. Variable is a symbol for a number we don't know yet. So we use letters typically to describe or to uh, represent variables or numbers that can have multiple values or numbers that we don't know yet. Here's an example of that. If I wrote this particular equation, y equals 3x minus 2, you'd see that the variables are y and x. 3 is not a variable, it's a known value or a constant, and then negative 2 is also a known value. All right, let's take a look at the next one. What is a term? A term is either a single number or a variable, or numbers and variables multiplied together. So here's some examples of a term. The number 2 could be a term. It's a constant. It's a single number. I'll put commas between these. So you see a bunch of examples here. X. That could be a term. It's a single variable. We could also have a combine a number and a variable. 6x, that's 6 times x. That's two numbers or variables multiplied together. We could also have negative values in there like negative 3t. Negative 3t, you can see that is a number and a variable multiplied together. And here's another one. You can get actually pretty complicated. You could say 4xy to the second, z to the third. Just look, uh, this is just a combination of a number and a bunch of variables, but they're all multiplied together. So this would be considered a single term. All right. Coefficient. A coefficient is a number used for multiplying a variable. There are actually some coefficients in the question above or in the answer above. Let's put some examples here. If I told you I had a term that was 6x, you would see that the coefficient is the 6. If I wrote the one up here, negative 3t, you would see that the coefficient on this is the constant value that's being multiplied by, or the number that the variable is being multiplied by, so negative 3t. And in our crazy example here of 4xy squared z cubed, the coefficient on this whole thing is the 4. Now you don't have to have the number in the front, but typically that's the correct way to write it mathematically. So in this case, the 4 is the coefficient. Next thing is expression. You'll hear this word a lot in this class. An expression is a group of terms separated by plus and minus signs. So an example of an expression could be x plus 2. That is a group of terms. X is a term, 2 is a term. We're adding those two together. We could also put uh, multiple uh, terms together to form an expression. Here's x squared plus 6x plus 9. This is an expression. Here is one term, x squared. 6x is a term, 9 is a term, and we're adding all of those together. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just throw Actually, let's change these signs. You see it doesn't have to be positive. This could be minus 6 plus 9. So correct that in your book so it says minus 6. That is an expression. Notice, class, an expression does not have an equal sign. It is a list of variables or a group, sorry, a group of terms separated by plus and minus signs, but there's no equal sign here. All right, next one, let's switch gears. A monomial, monomial, mono actually means one. So monomial is an expression with exactly one term. So an example of a monomial is x squared. In fact, take a look. All these uh, 
terms up here, every one of these is a monomial. A monomial could also be just the number 2. So we could also have just the number 2. And we could also have just a variable. This is just a variable. We could just say uh, B. B is a monomial. It's a, it's, that looks like a 6, so let's just change that to a different letter so it's a little clearer. So C, these are all monomials. They are expressions with only one term. Okay, binomial, bi, like bicycle, that stands for 2. So an expression with exactly two terms. So in this case, a good example would be, let's just say x squared plus 6x. You can see here you've got two terms that are connected with a plus or a minus sign. That is a binomial, meaning two. Trinomial, follow the logic on that. Try, trinomial. Try like tricycle has three wheels. Trinomial is three terms. So here's an example of that. Here is a trinomial x squared plus 6x plus 3. That's a trinomial, three terms connected with plus or minus signs. And now this next one, polynomial. Poly just means many. So polynomial is any expression with two or more terms. So a binomial is a polynomial. A trinomial is a polynomial, but a monomial is not because it only has one term. Now, a polynomial can have a whole bunch of terms. We can get pretty complicated here. We can say this is 4x cubed plus x squared plus 6x plus 3. Now we have four terms, so it's more than one term or two or more terms make a polynomial. And then the last thing, we'll switch back to the same color again. What's an equation? An equation is a math sentence that says that two things are equal. Two things are equal, and here's the key. An equation always has an equal sign. In fact, it's, it's an expression, just like you have up here, but it's going to have two expressions that equal each other. So here's an example of that. We could say and you've done this actually last year. If 6 equals 3x, you know how to use Algebra 1 to find that x equals 2. This has an equal sign, so that means it is an, an equation, not an expression. Here's another example. y equals x squared plus 6x plus 3. Now we took our, we took an, an expression and we made it equal to another expression. So two expressions set equal to each other form an equation. So when we use these two words expression and equation. You need to understand the difference. An equation is two expressions that equal each other. Okay? And an expression is just a set of terms with plus and minus signs but there's no equal sign there. So there are some key definitions you need to understand as we work through the polynomials unit and as we work through the rest of this class.